Hello everybody, this is Borna Kazerni from Melbourne, Australia. I hope you're doing fine. And uh, thank you very much for all your lovely comments and great feedback regarding of my shows here on Instagram. And please for you if I'm not able to reply you all straight away. Anyways, tonight I'm gonna have a conversation with an Australian artist who's called Cat Dolphin, who grew up in the country, Victoria, but has lived most of her life in uh, suburbia. And that's where a lot of her inspiration is drawn from. She finds personalities in the buildings, homes, and parklands that are the urban landscapes we frequently every day. Daily commutes and the chance to explore new areas fill Kat with curiosity and wonder about the places she visits. She describes her work as a contemporary urban landscapes and people drawn from memories, feelings, and subconscious recall. Kat has studied fine art, fashion design, sales, and management, and has worked in the whole sale apparel design over 20 years. Uh, Kat paints mostly in acrylic on canvas, occasionally mixed media, and sometimes on paper. She loves to use color, intuitive mark making, symbols, and typography to create her paintings of imagined and remembered urban landscapes. She is collector Australia wide and is rep uh, represented by local Melbourne galleries. Kat has practice in a number of group exhibitions in Melbourne and can be commissioned to create custom work to suit your home uh, or office. Uh, let me ask her to join me and uh, start our conversation with her. Hi, Kat. How are you doing? Good evening. <laughs> How are you? <laughs> I'm doing fine. Thank you. Thank you very much for being here tonight. And I really appreciate it for your time. Do you want to say hi to those who are watching us right now here on Instagram? Hi, everybody. Thanks for your time. Really appreciate it. It's an honor to be here tonight. So thank you. Okay. <laughs> yes. So tell me, how are you coping in nowadays with such crazy circumstances? that yeah. we are all dealing with a regard, a regarding of coronavirus. Yeah, it's a crazy time, isn't it? It's uh, certainly changing our world. Uh, I think in an odd kind of way, it's connecting us differently. So we're not all um, present, connected face to face, but we're connecting, you know, via technology these days, which is really interesting. But, uh, you know, it's uh, a times. I mean, a tragedy for so lucky here in Australia too. So. Yeah, it's very interesting. Absolutely. So, um, uh, first of all, I love your works. Amazing. Like, uh, when I reach you and started looking at your, like, uh, your works on Instagram, the first feeling I got from your works was like I'm walking in a dreamy city or in the dream city. So is that what you want people get from your work or works? Yeah, I think for me it's all about, I think I could talk about dreams and things being topsy-turvy, everything in some way and, you know, which way is up. It's all about, um, for me, it is that dreamlike state. But it's also, you know, there's all these stories tell like when you're in the dream not everything makes sense it's all you know one thing will jump to another but it does all connect so yeah that's I guess the feeling that I have when I'm paying as well so, your yeah. voice is a little bit sorry your voice is a little bit cutting off so oh. uh, yeah are you connected to wi-fi or your phone uh on the phone so is that any better yeah it's just a little bit better let's let's keep going sorry Okay. And um, okay, so yeah, because I love that. And also, another thing actually makes your work special, at least for me, is uh, that you draw most of the things and elements in circle shapes, <laughs> yeah. um, which happens with um, like 
smoothly, nicely, creative way. So tell me why. I don't know. I guess it's just the flow and the way that things connect. That that sort of circular motion is that it feels, you know, like how it's connected. Like all the trees around and they all look to one another, or the people are all sort of looking into each other. So I guess that's the when I'm creating. I guess that's the feeling I have with it all. So yeah. But so is that because it's very common in all your like uh, in most of your work? Am I right? I'm speaking for okay. ages. Yeah, it's all very similar. Anyway. I mean, I can paint. I mean, I paint all sorts of different things, obviously. But you know, they're all they all have the same handwriting. But it is that kind of, um, that looping and the connection of the line throughout the painting as well. So yeah. <laughs> okay. All right. So um, and can you explain to me a bit of the choice of colors in your mm -hmm. works? Uh, it seems to me you use common colors in most of your paintings because the type of your paintings and the choices of colors in your works show me is like it's like your signature. Yes, yeah, definitely. It's just I have this. I just love color. It's really. I mean, <laughs> it's, I love color, and I I can't get enough of it. And it's uh, sometimes I think it's a bit over the top, and I'll pull it back a little. But I just I love. I love the color, vitality, and to me, it just, you know, it just sings when I've got the color happening. So, yeah. And pink is quite, pink and green is quite evident. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's really interesting. I, I mean, um, I think that when you, it becomes part of your, your handwriting, I, you know, there's a lot of green. I mean, I've got blue happening. Try and move away from it sometimes, but it's it's still pink and the green is it makes me happy. I guess. So yeah. <laughs> so. Okay. And what does usually inspire you when you start like painting? Apart from I know you get an idea like from buildings, from landscapes, but what? Because you know, as a filmmaker. It really depends on what kind of or kind of mood I am in, and then I start to write. What what inspires you for your work? That's I'm just very very interesting. I'm really interested to know. A lot of a lot of the inspiration is just things that I see. You know, I'll, I'll see when I'm driving around. There'll be buildings, and I'll look at them, and I'll see faces, and there'll be trees and just the flickering light through things as well so it's very much um you know they're the things that inspire me even things on television is like i'll see a boat I love the show i'll come and draw part of the show like just, you know television's the other room yeah it's a spare room and just paint something that i've seen on tv or try and hold a, 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 something in my mind that i've seen driving home or around or something so I try and have this like visual um diary going on and then um, but it's I don't plan through too much the paintings I tend to do all the thing I'll wait for a little while and see what it wants to be in effect so I'll, I'll start to see, you know is this build are there buildings in here are there people in here and then I can start to, you know, find them in amongst all of the, the underpaintings. So you know, I've got some underpaintings here I can show you, but it's... I will, I will, we will get there. We will, we will get there soon. I need to, I need to disconnect you again. I, mean, I, I need to disconnect you now and send your request again because your voice is quite cutting off. And oh, okay. uh, yeah, I will, I will um, send your request again. Okay, cool. Sorry, we've got a little bit connection problem, so I have to send her a request again. All right. Okay. Hopefully that's better. <laughs> I hope so. Okay. Sorry. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. 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 No, definitely I want you to get up and show us around and uh, yeah. tell us more, which is very important actually for my audiences and myself. Like, gonna have a quiet tour to yeah. see your work 
you've been doing, and if is there any project that you're working on, uh, we're more than happy to say, I love your work. I wish I was there, but this corona is just explode everything. So yeah. um, when you get up, there is an option on your phone. You can reverse the camera, and then while okay. you're talking, showing the things, and then uh, going to be much easier for you to, to handle. Okay. Yeah. Okay, here we go. So I guess um, I'll just get back a little bit. This, this is a piece that I've just recently finished and uh, I haven't quite even got a title for this, but um, again, it's, it shows all of the, the, the detail in here. Um, it, the words here are the sorrows are deep. So when the sorrows are deeper, the colours are brighter. So... So often I'll write things into the paintings that resonate with me and, you know, there's lots of little, you know, colour upon colour. Sorry, um, you were, sorry, you were cutting off. You were cutting off. Could you please repeat it again? Oh, I was just saying there's lots of little worlds within the paintings as well and lots of colour and wow. details and, you know, the trees. Um, I've got, you know, this one's got some silver foil happening on there as well. But, you know, you can see all my my buildings have personalities. You never really know. There's like a... Yeah. Yeah. I can see it actually. It's like the um, person with an open mouth. Yeah. <laughs> so lots of that, lots of happy buildings and then... You know, there's like a village down here as well, which turns into another village. So it's all about this sort of connection and, and the spiralling around is, you know, that, that signature that I've got. But then it's got the words. So, you know, that that's one that I've just finished. Um, I've got this one over here, which is, this one actually is called um, Uncharted Waters. And I guess that's um, in relation to what's happening at the moment. So, oh, very, very, oh, it's regardless, uh, regardless of coronavirus situation. Yeah. Right? So, you know, there's a boat and it's all in the choppy waters. Um, again, a little bit of typography in amongst it all. Some jellyfish. And then just a bit of, a bit of fun with a, a, like a lobster sort of hanging onto the, onto the jellyfish. And, you know, just memories again from when I've been scuba diving and all, all of that. Um, you know, just the, and again, all of this uh, circular work that we were talking about before, and then uh, I've got uh, down here. I've got this is Can another one. That, before 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 you're shifting down, yeah. could you please come in back a little bit and let's see the whole image actually yeah. for a bit? Wow, that's I love the colors you used for this paint. It's amazing. Yeah. So it's um. Yeah, I tried to go more into the blues with this one. So uh, away from the pinks. <laughs> <laughs> I love the pinks, actually, you. Yeah. Okay. So, and, you know, just different, um, also different perspectives. So this is sort of, you know, looking down, but also looking through as well and now on top. So, uh, you know, I play around with different planes in the perspective as well so that it's all sorts of things going on, the, like, a, like a dream. So... Um, oh my god, I love yeah. this one. What is this one about? Uh, this is called Family Tree. So this is really about sort of, um, you know, again, family connections and, and um, it's, yeah, just I think that was really all I was thinking about, just the, the family and the connections and how we all, you know, relate to each other. So, again, more the greens and the, and the, and the, the pinks in that one and it, lots of, you know, the, you know, trees okay. Wow. It's like it's 3D. Yeah. So I've only got a very small room. This is like my, my spare room. This is where I work. So I can't that, get back. That's fine. That's yeah. what you need probably. Yeah. Me. So, you know, there's this. Um, and I've got, uh, this is an old painting that I have here. This one's, um, oh, this was one of my very first paintings that I did. Um, and I've kept this one because it was the one that um, changed everything for me, I guess. So I, I didn't really know um, 
what to do with this painting and then you know I had this inspiration to to paint them the people and it's pretty special so that was kind of the the pivot point for me in terms of my artwork so, mm -hmm. and it's got collage and all sorts of um, layers underneath which is you know it all comes through and I guess it's also that that thought process about you know what lies beneath comes to the surface you know what everything is connected how long does it usually sure so how long does it usually take um take it to be completed like each paint can you work and like are you one of those artists who is able to work and the, like a different project at the same time i work on um usually i can work on two or three paintings at a time i'm i guess this depends on the size but um a big painting like this one is probably 20 hours um some oh. sometimes sometimes they're 30 hours um yeah just depends on on the size the smaller ones are a lot quicker so i've got this one down the bottom here as well oh my like, god i love this one it is beautiful yeah and this is that's a really long one i sort of i can't show you the whole thing that's all right is it like is it on a canvas am i right yeah it's on a big long it's a long narrow canvas and um I called this one the pursuit for happiness. So it's got lots of typography through it. Um, and just, again, the same kind of thing. This, I do a lot of the buildings as well, which is, um, and with the personalities as well. So it, it all sort of just one flows into the other thing. And I think that was, you know, when I started painting in this way, it was about that, that linear connection. I love uh, this one. Yeah, I like it. Too. It's beautiful. So. But, um, yeah, so there's that sort of thing. And then I, I've got, um, I was going to show you some underpaintings over here. Sorry. The one me. that you're working on right now, yeah? Yeah, they, they, well, I've got a few of these. So you can see I've got, you know, these smaller ones here, um, which this is kind of how it all starts. It's just purely play, um, huh. laying down colours and patterns and, You'll, you can see there's typography in there, um, all sorts of things going on. And then a lot of that gets covered up. Um, so I, I've got, you know, I've got two the same size and I've got another big one happening here as well. So, again, I just sit with them for a little while until I figure out what it's going to be. So, <laughs> I, you know, and I can, you know, spend time looking at it. And then I do, like, I've got lots of small works on paper which are like warm-ups in a way so um these smaller pieces over here so so wow. just it's so. they're all colorful which i really like myself it's yeah. really really lovely yeah so yeah and that's the, i mean i just love the color if it hasn't got color well you know <laughs> i mean Absolutely. it's um it's just you know it gives me joy so that's the whole thing i guess that's the whole point you know this is about um of course yeah. of course of course i've got lots of questions if there's no more so we can you can go back yep. and, and sit and then uh, let's yep. continue our conversation yeah okay i'm going through i've got lots of questions okay yep. i'm just going to read some of them because i want to have a con like a i want to enjoy having conversation with you instead <laughs> of just reading the whole questions okay all right, there are more than like 50 questions here. Uh, one of them is like, how old were you when you start painting? And how did you identify in you that you're going to become a successful uh, painter? Oh, um, I've always been creative, um, not particularly academic. Um, I've always painted. I actually started um, a degree in fine art long a long time ago <laughs> <laughs> but I chose not to do I didn't pursue that because at the time I couldn't see how I could make a career or a living from art at the time obviously this is you know 30 years ago um but I maintained that that was what I was always going to paint just for the the joy of it and I guess you know um it's taken a long time for me because obviously I've worked I've, you know, raised a family and painting has been off to the side for a long time. And as you, you get to a stage where you, you have more free time, I can invest that time 
of course doing what I enjoy and have done it purely for me it's taken a long time and you know I've painted a lot of boring uninteresting um, vanilla type paint I don't think so <laughs> well, not so much now but you know over the years and I, and I think a lot of that is is the ma learning the mastery of, of painting you have to learn how to paint to understand um, value of color and how to how to create um, images and perspective and understand all of that is your training and at some point it comes together and you have to avoid so it's it's a long journey some people get there a lot quicker um, but it's it's taken me a long time to find my voice and find my voice. Def definitely well I want to Snap you back in those days when you started um, your career, probably, or your, uh, you know, um, your career as a painter. In comparison or comparing in nowadays, when the technology actually got involved, mm -hmm. uh, I've spoken with lots of artists who are not quite, not happy, but um, what I found through lots of conversation that I've had, had with um, different artists on my live show, some of them are not, it's not easy for them to just themselves. And they believe the old fashion styles always works better. What is your opinion re um, in regards? Yeah, look, it is difficult. And I think we, we see so much um, online these days. And it can be overwhelming and you think you want to paint like this person or paint like that person. And it's all great. And I think you, you can take all that on as learnings and build, build your knowledge of that. Um, for me, it, it can be a bit overwhelming, too much information. And I think at a certain point, you have to say, what is it I like about all of these pieces of art um, or whatever that is, and then find a common ground and mm. then apply that what what it is that you want to do. Not do what someone else is doing. And I see a lot of art um, online that looks like other artists that, you know, great if you can as a learning process. But I think that um, just build that into as part of the mastery of what you're doing. And at some point the mystery, magic kicks in. You know, it, it, it all, it's just taking time to build, I think. So, and the technology is great. We're exposed to so much. Um, finding your own voice is a challenge, but it, you have to, it's like piecing a jigsaw puzzle together eventually. So, exactly. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Well, for, okay, is it easy for you to recognize those who are only interested in drawing or someone who has got uh, inherently a, paint, a painter? Like, is it easy for you to distinguish in, like, between those who just want to draw or paint compared to those who've got a talent? When someone comes to you and says, well, do you teach also or don't you? Um, I'm not sure I understand the question. Can you say that again? Well, the, the question is like, uh, it's very easy for me. Like, let me give you an example. Like as someone who is interested in acting and yeah. when I have a conversation with, I feel that he wants to become famous more than become a real, uh, like a great or through or great actor or actress. Some of the people, but... In the other hand, the other hand, actually, I can see some people got a talent, but mm. there's no opportunity for them. Mm. And is it easy for you to see that, for example, if I want, if I'm going to talk to you, say like, um, Kat, I'm really interested in painting, but you see, well, I'm just interested in, but I haven't got a talent for working on. Mm. I think that, yeah, I think. There's, you can be talented and, and it's a lot of, the path is a lot I think that if you're if you passion I think passion is probably the most important thing and and you can build that mastery if, if 
it's a, it's a longer journey if you're not naturally talented. But as long as you've got the passion, you'll get there. I think that um, it's, you know, persistence. And um, mm -hmm. they call it a pain to eat. You practice. You have to practice. You have to paint all the time. Just keep painting. It's like Dory. Just keep painting. And eventually all of those come together to, you know, the, the, that's when the talent comes out. But it's, I think you can be extremely talented and if you have got passion, then that's, it's going to end up nowhere in. Exactly. I think For I'm younger thinking. people, well, there's one of, the, well, let me go through another question. The question is coming through. Well, this question is like, okay. Um, did you have the second job at the same time when you were painting or started your career in this regard? I still have a second job. <laughs> <laughs> we all have. <laughs> I still work. Um, and um, my painting I do in the evenings and I do in the weekend. So it's, um, but it's, um, it's almost a, it's such a passion. Like I will can't work all day, come home, and first thing I'll do is wander into the, the studio and, you know, look at a painting, think about what I'm going to do, maybe spend an hour or so at night. But I spend a lot of time on the weekend painting as well. So, um, yeah, it's, it's, I'd like to transition at some point to, to painting full time. Oh, yeah. I mean. You know, well, not have a, not have another job. <laughs> so, uh, <laughs> it, and I think, you know, in time that'll happen. Uh, but I'm patient, you know. When I think when the opportunities present themselves, that's when you try and make the most of them. So Exactly, exactly. <laughs> and um, as I told you, well, we had a conversation last night also. As I've told you, why blame your work are unique? No, I want to ask you the same question from from you. Why do you think your works are unique? Oh, um, yeah, good question. I think that... Um, Yeah, I'm not really sure. I think I've again I've just taken in all the influences that I've had. I think um, I just let it flow. I know what I like to paint. I know what gives me joy. I, I paint from the heart. It's about joy of work. So um, I guess creative people are always thinking, always. Yeah, the brain never stops. It's about how can I or, and I and I keep pushing. Sometimes I, when I start a painting, it's not beautiful. Um, but I want it to be, there's things I like about my work. Be colourful, I like them to be happy, I like them to tell a story. Um, I like there to be some humour in there or something in there that people can keep looking and looking at and, and find more and more things and make up their own story around the paintings as well. So um, some of, I don't know, but the style it just, you know, like I said, I had a, a pivot and and then it just started pouring out. Uh, okay. And, okay, okay. And what sort of messages you're trying to give to people or what, who are your audiences? Who are your, like, uh, audience? Mm -hmm. You know, what people, what would you like people to get from your, your paintings? Yeah, I guess, for me, it's not everything's as it seems. You know, like there's always as what? Sorry, not everything is as it seems. So there's always stories within stories. There's layers, and you know, so there's beauty in everything. So I think that's um, that's what I'm. I guess the message of the painting, and, and I want that my people that I'm who are my audience are people that want something that brings joy. That something that's um, not simple. There's you know layers and complexities in there, and they can they can go on their own journey. They can see that there's villages and valleys and rivers and all of those things, and they can make up their own adventure um, when they look at my painting. As I, and I guess and it, and hopefully it makes them happy. That's you know my audience. Well, 
that's a wonderful message, I think. Well, uh, in such a day, it's crazy. Uh, it's really hard, and you have to work on hard and the con concept to make everyone's happy or to like to to get a joy from it. So, yeah. yeah. Life's, life's not enough. I don't want to have a, a you know a depressing piece of artwork hanging over my head. I want something that makes me happy. So you know. <laughs> Yeah, that's why when I went through your works on Instagram and I felt like, ah, it makes me, well, by looking at them, um, I felt like, as I've said, as I mentioned in prior, so I felt like I'm like uh, walking on a dreaming or yeah. dream, dream city. And uh, it makes me feel good to, 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 to looking at them. Well, that's great. That's exactly what I'm hoping for. When I look at my paintings, well, so you reach the success. <laughs> <laughs> so tell me, um, how is the competition in between you and other people? So, or like, how is the competition going in Australia? Oh, look, you know, I I know a lot of other artists that I exhibit with, um, and to be honest, they're all the most delightful, welcoming, wonderful. people. Well, I really find it a positive environment. I think, um, you know, people are going to buy what they like at the end of the day. So, you know, that's that's up to them. But I think the art that I've certainly been exposed to has been um, really surprisingly generous and um, kind. You know, it's not competitive in, in any way. It's very supportive. Ask another other successful artists for advice and they'll more than more than just their recommendation on how to do things you know and funny little things like how do I ship something and how do I frame something or where do you get this done and everyone just shares that information so I, I right. don't find I find it really positive and really grateful to be part of the community and does the government help you to like who is who is, who is a representer of your work like, do they, if you want to, like, have a, have an exhibition, you know, for yourself, if mm. you just go and ask for funding, is that easy and say, well, yes, very good, you can do it yourself, or no, it's not, like, it doesn't work that way? To be honest, I've not, I've not explored that. Um, I okay. think I, I've, for me, I've tended to just focus on doing the work, doing the painting, and have come um, you know clearly I've got to put my on social media um, I, I go to galleries and ask them to represent me they just say yes or no I don't I don't get better about it. I think the opportunities will present when when they're right you can't force these things but I haven't been I haven't got any government grants or anything like that so I'm not really sure um, so yeah I'm sorry. So, okay well fair enough so you haven't experienced that path yet probably mm -hmm. so tell me how does social media help you to um present or present your work yeah or your work it's a big part of what i do i really instagram um i get a lot of um connections through instagram i get a lot of um sales through instagram which is interesting i've made a lot of friends uh, all around the world <laughs> um through instagram less so facebook but certainly instagram you're able to run gallery and um deliver that i've just this week launched my website i think so uh, a bit slow to the party on that but um, finally got there um it's been a powerful tool it's been really fantastic i was really nervous when i first went to instagram not sure you know how much to share you know, you're your heart and soul out there, but it's been, it's been fabulous. Yeah. And I've known actually lots of artists actually they sell their, their stuff through the Instagram and they've been quite uh, successful. I was talking to another artist, another painter from Sydney, uh, George, actually. After the conversation I had with him, actually, he sold, he could be able to sold. And it was like quite strange, such a situation right now where we are here yeah. on this love the planet okay so you you think the social media helps a lot um, yeah okay okay mm -hmm. fantastic yeah.
All right. So I have no further questions. So is there anything that you want to say or is that something that you want to mention? Yeah, I thought that, you know, considering that we've... Um, thank you for your time tonight. And thank you, everybody, for, for joining us. And what I was thinking about doing is I've got lots of these, you know, small works on paper. That's one of them. And show me, show me, show me, show me, show me. It's just, uh, how about, I've got about six of these. So I thought I'd love to give one of them away to somebody. Oh, okay. Yeah. So um, is that is that like a kind of oh okay can I have one of them please <laughs> one of I'd like I'd love to give away to somebody what I'd like you to do is anyone who's commented on the post on uh, Borna's post tonight and then comes across to my Instagram page and comments and follows me and we'll choose somebody and one lucky person will get one of these. Wow, yeah. that's fantastic. Oh, wait, that's, okay. that's very sweet. Wow, it's very, very <laughs> smart. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I think that's a really nice way of, um, you know, connecting with people and meeting all the people that have, you know, watched us tonight. I'd love to get to know you all a bit better and what a, what better way. So, that's so comment, perfect. Comment, that's... On post, comment on my post um, and then follow me and then we'll choose somebody and I'll send something out within the week. So I'll let, we'll, we'll talk anyway. So. Perfect, perfect. Well, thank you very much for being here with uh, us tonight. Did you like the conversation? Yeah, I've, I've loved it. It's been so good and it's really, um, it's really lovely just to have a chat about my artwork with someone who's, you know, interested. It's really terrific. So thank you. I really appreciate it. So You're welcome. You're welcome. Anytime. It was lovely talking to you and uh, I'm going to say goodbye to you. I'll talk to you soon. Thank <laughs> right. you. Okay, bye bye. 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 Thank you very much. Thank you very much for watching us tonight. Actually, I was talking to uh, Kat Dolphin. If you are interested to know more about her works, actually, you can go to her Instagram page and also you can actually check her website, uh, website out also. Thank you. Love you all. I really appreciate that for your old comments and questions. I'm sorry that I didn't have time to go through the, every single of them. Have a wonderful day. Stay safe. Stay at home and looking after yourself and your family. Take care. Bye-bye.